everyone. I'm Nancy Chen. Thank you for joining us here on CBS News. Here's a look at the top stories we're following right now. The death toll in Gaza has risen to at least 2,600 as the Israel-Hamas conflict rages on into its ninth day. More than 1,300 Israelis have been killed. And the United Nations reports an estimated 1 million people have been displaced in the first week of the conflict. Let's bring in CBS News contributor Robert Berger. He joins us now from Jerusalem. Robert, thank you very much for being with us today. Uh, what do we know about Israel's expected invasion of northern Gaza at this point? Well, the Israeli military says, quote, Signi significant military operations will begin soon. So presumably that would refer to a ground offensive. Certainly the scene along the border points to that. There are lines of tanks, armored personnel carriers, artillery, uh, tens of thousands of troops that have massed along the, the Gaza border. But just a note of caution, I mean, this, this kind of operation, especially with all these reservists uh, that have come in, takes time to plan. You need to gather intelligence. And, you know, the Israelis still may want to try to have at least some element of surprise. So while it seems uh, no one really can say exactly when this is going to happen, but it looks like it would be in the next few days. And Secretary of State Antony Blinken, he will be back in Israel tomorrow after meetings in Saudi Arabia and Egypt today. He's been on a tour through the Mideast. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, he was in Saudi Arabia today and then went to Egypt, where he did report some progress, especially Egypt has agreed now to open, reopen the Rafah border crossing, which would allow uh, humanitarian aid into besieged Palestinians. Uh, there are already long lines of trucks along the border. Aid, is, aid uh, has been coming into a nearby airport from all over the region. So that would help get aid to uh, the Palestinians. And it, it might also help the 600 or so American Palestinians, uh, Palestinian Americans, uh, get out of Gaza, though it's really not clear how they're going to get to the border with all the bombing going on, or even if Hamas would let them out. That access to resources has been a major concern for many as we're looking at uh, access to food, access to water. Israel announcing that some water service has been restored to southern Gaza. Will that be enough, especially considering the one million refugees now fleeing the north? Not at all, no. I mean, they've only uh, reopened the water to southern Gaza, as you said. I mean, uh, that's only a, a small part of Gaza, or at least half of Gaza. And, you know, uh, and the UN actually says that water has run out at all of its shelters where thousands of Palestinian refugees have uh, taken shelter. So, and in addition to that, you know, Israel only apply, uh, supplied about a third of Gaza's water in the first place. Mm. Uh, uh, most of the water, or a lot of it anyway, came from a desalination plant, which has closed down because Israel cut off electricity. So the situation is really dire with regard to water and few, uh, fuel, electricity, food, and it's really only getting worse. Leaving many families asking what they will do next. Robert Berger, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.